Neil Schaefer, a lot of companies are using LinkedIn already. A lot of employees are already using LinkedIn. But you think there are a lot of missed opportunities out there. Tell us some more. Yeah, I think most companies start out on LinkedIn and seen it as a way to recruit people. That professionals are on LinkedIn. Instead of you know, going through headhunters, they can directly find people and, and approach them and try to fill job openings that they have within their company. But I think you need to look at LinkedIn as a place where professionals are and where professionals go for networking, for branding. It is a very, very different paradigm than a Facebook where a lot of professionals are on Facebook, but they're really only there to engage with their you know, friends and family. On LinkedIn, it, it's a professional demographic, professional mindset, and therefore companies have a great way of utilizing it uh, not only to promote their company, but also similar to what you might do on Facebook to, to find brand advocates, um, to you know, reach out to influencers, to provide information and news that professionals want to help them do a better job. So there's many, many different ways of utilizing it. And uh, I, I, hopefully during my speech, you know, everybody will, will understand that. You know, LinkedIn has an advertising platform, which is as compelling as Facebook in terms of being able to micro-target your demographic. You have a company page, which allows you to get recommendations from people in the LinkedIn community, which provide a lot of credibility for your services. I think the biggest opportunity, and it's still a big opportunity in the United States as well, is something called employee advocacy, or getting employees to help share your message in social media. And most people will not want to share the company message in Facebook because it's very private, and they may not be on Twitter, but if they're on LinkedIn and sharing the company message helps their personal branding, helps their, you know, spread the word about their company, uh, it's a great way to, for companies to, you know, help uh, their employees engage with their networks, uh, and it's really a win-win, and I think that's the biggest untapped opportunity. A lot of companies are looking outside their company walls for influencers in the social media community when their own employees can influence their direct networks once we empower them to do so. Uh, and that's this whole concept of employee advocacy that I think LinkedIn is the most appropriate social network for. So companies need to encourage their employees to do what? Well, to, to first of all have a, a professional profile. Uh, every employee represents your company's brand. So if I'm doing a search for any given thing uh, and I find your employee, I want them to look uh, like they're an employee of my company. I'd like, to, I'd like them to have a professional photo so I can establish a photo booth in the lobby, get a professional photo taken that you can put on your LinkedIn profile. I'd want to give them a, a paragraph of text. They may not want to use it, but uh, describing what our company does. They may put it in their own words and, and they may misalign with what uh, description we'd like. I would encourage them um, you know, to, to connect with people in their industry so that they uh, get in the know and, and, and therefore when they connect with a large network or a relevant network and they start to post status updates and maybe some of those status updates deal with your company and your latest blog post or events and they share it out to those industry networks, uh, they, began, they begin to be seen as being influential in the network. Um, their message is very relevant for their own personal brand and the company gets bigger exposure for their message. So there's a lot of things. Uh, it comes down with what I would call LinkedIn profile optimization and then the actual publication of information, which more and more professionals, we do it on Facebook, we're doing it more and more on sites like LinkedIn, sharing information that is uh, you know, relevant for our industry, our network.